welcome to another episode of USA on Dirt. Today we are in the URI National Forest area of North Carolina where we're at the 2020 Let's Overland the Challenge. Let's roll. Some guys are going to start at the Mile Down Oak Road Park and some are going to start out in the National Forest. All right, so the competitors are lined up here on the start-finish line, ready to take on today's challenges, which will be at one or four places. The technical LFD off-road park, the speed-ridden Mobtown off-road park, the BFG Training Center, or the National Forest, where they maintain the speed with a rather rudimentary style device. So if you look right there on the hood of this truck is a specimen cup, and that's to ensure that the teams actually go a decent speed. The more water they lose, the worse off they are. It's actually flowing out as they leave the starting line, so that's gonna be interesting. Keep an eye on the specimen cup. So this is a pretty cut and dry course, unless, of course, you're blindfolded. That makes it a little bit more difficult. I spent the first day here at the BFG Training Center watching the competitors take on the team challenges, which in my opinion is the real equalizer to this event. You see, you could come here with a heavy navigation skill set, a really built off-road rig, but this right here requires teamwork and communication skills. So in this challenge here, it's the uh, triangle walk. These guys have to walk with this contraption here that they have built. Definitely a teamwork activity, right? Challenge number three gives us drunk goggle camp setup challenge. I feel like this is an event that I would uh, do very well in. On day two, the competitors lined up at the start finish line to take on that day's event challenges. And I decided that I'd follow them out to the woods to try to catch some off-road action. My first stop was the LFD off-road park where the teams faced a navigation challenge that they had to find the waypoints in order while battling technical off-road tracks. Not really so much the mud as much as it is the depth of the rut that's where that clearance really comes in handy so basically what i've done is i've set up shop right here in the middle of a conjunction i've got a trail up there i've got trail over there trail over here and then i've got this trail here apples parked on up there because i didn't want to try to go through here right now there are four teams competing within the woods around me and i'm trying to find them so that way i could get some video shots for you guys uh and then later on this afternoon there will be four more teams so Hopefully we can get out here and we can find some of these guys doing some pretty gnarly stuff. So let's go roll and check it out. Intro don't sound so good. It's clicking and hollering and
engaged at all. So his fuse went out, which probably run, caused man. all that shit to stop working. His winch, four-wheel drive, air compressor, you know, all the shit that you need whenever you get stuck in the middle of the woods wasn't working. Now he's good, though. I think now that he replaced the fuse, he should be fine. Send it. Next stop was the Mobtown Off-Road Park where competitors were faced with various different time trial events and speed is key here. One minute 47. You said the record was one more time. One minute and 11 seconds. Okay, so he's got the spot. Front row seats. Right yeah. Here. So like, the thing is, is if I carry action tracks and the man behind action right. tracks with me, there's no way I can get stuck. If you get stuck, I'll, I'll pop out. <laughs> and uh, it's our latest promotion. It's, it's my trunk track. Trunk. Yeah. trunk tracks. I'll sleep in your trunk and pop out if you get stuck. So uh, uh, order today. After watching them beast around the trails at the Mobtown Off-Road Park, I decided to head back to camp so I could check out some of the rigs and talk to a few of the competitors. I said he broke the steering rack. What's all involved in the process to fix it? Tires off, skid plate down, bolts that are reverse dropping, break the tie rod ends, shimmy out after I disconnect the lines, shimmy through the front, throw it on the ground in the scrap metal pile, reverse order, put the new one in, delete it. That is the weak point in, uh, in these. I'm just waiting on a good Tundra steering rack upgrade. Yeah. I was able to get a few episodes of Badass Builds recorded, so stay tuned for those episodes to come up soon. Unfortunately, I did miss the cooking competition for this video, so maybe next year I'll catch that. The rest of the night was spent around this awesome fire, having some great conversations with new friends over some cold drinks. What's happening and welcome to day number three of the Overland Challenge and today they're doing a high lift winch race. Yeah, this is one of those team challenges that I told you is really the great equalizer of the whole event is the fact that they got to do things like this. Let's go check it out. With this event, I must give a disclaimer, high lift jacks are extremely dangerous tools and can cause serious injury and or death if used improperly. 
prior to carrying a high lift jack on your rig, make sure that you get some proper training on how to use it. There are multiple uses for a high lift jack. One of them is to actually retrieve a stuck vehicle by using it as a winch, which is what you see the teams doing here. The teams rig their vehicle up to an anchor vehicle and then pull the other vehicle across the start finish line, if you will. The fastest team wins. And let's not forget the action tracks crawl where the team members had to coordinate their way across the field there with a set of action tracks. After that, it was off to the award ceremony where first through third place received awesome award packets to include CVT tents, Dometic fridges, BFG tires, action tracks, gift cards, and more. Thank you to all the competitors that showed up to 2020 Southern Expeditions Overland Challenge. And thank you for watching USA on Dirt. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more. And until next time, peace.